have you guys ever wondered what is the best character and item combo here in Zuba? And if you clicked on this video in the first place, then you probably have. And I have been in this situation as well. What is the best combo though? And you can look at all the characters here that you own, and then you can kind of muster up some ideas about which ones are better than others. Like, we all know that the good characters in the game are things like Henry, Jade, Max, and stuff like that. But still, what is the best, best thing that we can do here? So let's begin with the very first step and that is finding the best character in the game now for a really long time i've talked about Susie being the best but nowadays i don't really think that that's the case anymore because she does slow characters down she does a lot of stuff but at the end of the day i think that ruby is better just because she deals a ton of damage and if you automatically destroy the enemy in the first place then there's no real reason to do any stuns and healing and weird stuff like that but still i can't say that Susie is a bad character all right she, she definitely isn't but ruby i just find to be way better here and she's at level 18 super super strong and now let's do the item setup because that is another very very important thing now we are missing the level 18 item slot here but no worries because that was supposed to be for the adrenaline shot so honestly it doesn't really matter all too much because the adrenaline shot like we can just not use this overall and it would be perfectly fine all right and the other items are on point very very good so uh if you do have the fifth item slot, just use the adrenaline shot because I'm pretty sure it is the best in this case because I have done my fair bit of research, don't get me wrong. So we're using jungle shoes, vampire teeth, pheromone essence, and of course, inflatable muscles right here. And it's going to be super, super awesome. You can change things up if you want to and they should be pretty much the same thing, right? Because you're free to do a lot of different stuff with the atoms. That's why they exist. But still, at the end of the day, I feel like this is the best atom combo that we could be using right now. So there you go. Now, let's also claim some rewards that I'm pretty sure we have. 10 gems because you just can't go wrong with the gems we haven't claimed some gems in quite a while <laughs> actually if you really think about it and what kind of weird stuff do we have here what is this witchery no come on just just some coins that is definitely not worth it 30 coins like is that the reward because that doesn't sound right to me 10 coins is just nothing that is definitely not good and what do we have here maze of treasures as well you know what, let's just leave this behind for now and kind of go to the shop because we have more important stuff to see here. There you go. And also, gold crate time! Maybe we get something good. Alright, Yara coins. Now, let's not keep waiting anymore and jump into Warrior of the Day. Yeah, this is gonna be cooler. Let's go! And here we are. Now, we're playing this just to get a difficulty spike, I guess. Because normally when you play game mode, this game mode compared to normal solos or teams, it is supposed to be a little bit more difficult here because you are facing more try-hard players. I guess so that's why we are playing this in the first place so there you go this stun is coming in really important because hitting this spear attack is really important because it deals just a ton of damage so you shouldn't miss this I mean you, you can afford to miss this every now and then but still that wouldn't be very cool would it so there you go and now check this out check this out that is a one shot with a silver spear all right it's, it's not the most strong ability possible we could have a legendary one and imagine that boom is that our kill? Yeah, actually, I don't think it is. All right, fair enough. Now, let's obliterate this Betsy here because Betsy may not know this, but we can do this and take out over half of her whole HP. And she's level 18 as well. A level, not level 18, level 14, my bad. And when you're level 14, you're decently tanky. You're not the worst character ever. You could be doing worse here in Zuba. You can get some wins, trust me. All right, so, and boom. That was insane. Like, if you see the purple or pink effect, whatever you want to call it, then uh, you can you can tell that you've dealt the extra damage needed to just... BAM! Alright, that was, that was close, but not quite it. You gotta, you gotta work on your aim in order to truly master Ruby, but it is a fun experience. Alright, come here. We're using the best combo ever, like, possible. We have done multiple items, item combos on specific characters, but for a second, I actually sat down today and thought, actually... What have we done? The best combo possible in this game. Not just for some random character, but possible that you could be playing at the moment. And here is what we're doing right now. Boom! Okay. That's, is, is that a good way to check the bushes? Definitely not. But Ruby cannot really check bushes all too easily. But, you know, it's not going to be much of an issue, is it? There you go. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, I guess. Let's gain some distance. And then one shot the molly. It's as easy as that. All right, so check this out as well. <laughs> nice. All right, all right. We got to get 10 kills right now. Is that possible? I don't think it is. We can get a maximum of nine kills or something. So let's do that while we're at it. And uh, you better not get burned by the lava because that would be 
annoying to say the least there you go nice and when you win a match you win it in that exam that uh, exact spot which is super super cool so we got nine kills right there and that's your proof i guess that ruby is really really good right now so that was awesome all right and what do we have here coins and stuff yeah sign me up I mean, it's one of those events where I get a ton of points and it's super weird and cool to look at. There you go. And now what are we going to do? Let's just get the silver toolbox here that we can for sure get. And now let's change things up a little bit. How about we jump into that sort of stuff? And why are the characters like that? Okay, we're good. That was a little bit of a glitch, I suppose. Now let's go for something different here because I have seen that a nice combo is using the... Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait a second, we need a team game mode in order to equip the item that we're looking for at the moment. So, what I'm talking about here is the defibrillator, because it is better than Doctor's Code, I found out. It is better than Doctor's Code, so just use the defibrillator here. So, there you go. And now, let's also dominate in teams. Hello, hello! What is going on around here? And these characters are actually pretty high leveled. Oh, that damage was good. That damage was good! Defeating a guard just like that with your uh, normal active ability is not something you see every day Like you can just doing it that easily is pretty nice. Usually characters don't have that powerful of, a, of an uh, active ability You know, I'm pretty sure the problem is thing actually lets Ruby attack uh, twice using her active I'm pretty sure that's how it works, but still super strong and no uh, a Strong enemy team indeed. We got to take them down guys Easy! Alright, we missed. Fair enough. So, let's go get some weapons here and kind of change things up a little bit. Because with two weapons, you can't really do much. And against the full team, you can't really do much by default either. Because no matter who you are, it's, it's more or less impossible to defeat a full team. But I guess it's doable here if we really, really stick our mind to it and stuff. Please. Oh, I knew it. I knew he would do that. Alright, Steve. You did not land on me. You, you're not doing too well. Oh, yes! The damage! Hey, you guys better not do that, all right? Oh, no, you got instantly healed. All right. <laughs> okay. That was not it. We need a stronger team, guys. We definitely need that. Oh, Steve. Steve, you better not. All right, Steve is genuinely gone. And boom. Nice damage there. And there you go. Defibrillator coming in clutch. And for no real reason. But I guess we're kind of stalling them, I guess. I suppose. Donna is a worse character than Ruby, as you can see. She really can't get all too close because she'll get absolutely decimated. Boom. Okay, we missed with that. Because what else are you gonna do? Oh, we need that medkit. Give me the medkit. Give me the medkit right now. There you go. Sweet. What's happening around here? Are we gonna win? Are we gonna lose? I can't even tell. Right? Because not, we're not gonna die that easily. Because we're the level 18 Ruby with amazing items right now. Like, we're, we're doing decently well. Hey, what's up? My friend. Oh. Oh, the damage from the boomerang is life changing. Or life altering, if you wanna say that. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes, the shotgun. It's hard to miss with the shotgun because it's a shotgun. Boom. <laughs> the bushes are so annoying. Like, as a sniper character, the bushes aren't it. Unless you're Pepper, because if you're Pepper, then they are exactly what you're looking for. But apart from that, oh, yes, the damage. I can't even tell if we're getting absolutely destroyed or not. I still can't tell because this is good and bad at the same time. Like, look at this. Look at the kills, Donna. You are going to get absolutely obliterated. If you need more proof than that, then I don't even know. I don't even know what unrealistic expectations you have. Because look at this. We're destroying entire teams right now just with one or two characters here. I mean, the fuzzy isn't doing all too much. But you, you get the idea. He's he's there, I guess. And he is doing his fair share of work. But still, for the most part, it's just us getting the kills. And that is insane. All right. Frank has so much HP, but it's not enough. Easy. I genuinely thought we were gonna lose right now, but I think we're doing well. Oh, yes. And that's why I use Vampire Teeth, guys. The healing is insane. If it weren't for the Vampire Teeth, we would have been absolutely destroyed by now. So just keep that in mind. All right. Boom. The fur mode is so beautiful. We did it. I can't believe it. <laughs> we ended up with eight kills as well. The odds of us actually getting that victory were surprisingly low with all the level 19s right there. Did you, did you guys see that? It was a level 19 Donna. I mean, not right there, but you get the point. That was crazy. And we did it. And we also got Grandmaster 1. Just to make things even better. All right. Any weird glitches showing up right now just because we got that reward? All right. Thank goodness that wasn't the case. And look at that. Grandmaster 1. And that looks cool alongside the level 18 
as well. Maybe not the level light tea, but alongside the skin, that genuinely looks really, really cool. Very earthy looking lava skin. And so does the Jade skin, actually. They're actually very similar. And surprisingly, we have the Grandmaster for both of them, which is kind of cool. So now let's go on to something a little bit different right now. So now that you've seen that, let's play some major treasures and see what happens. This is probably going to end really, really quickly or... I don't know. We're gonna find out right now. Guys, if you have any other ideas for really, really good combos, like if you're if you're good at the game or something, just, just comment down below and tell me what you think about the matter. Maybe Susie's better. Maybe Henry's better. Maybe Max is better. Like, if you think that, just I challenge you to just comment, down, comment it down below and tell me what you think. And for now, let's see if we get some card packs because that is also something really, really important that we must do at the moment. Card packs are just essential... And uh, we can get some insane rewards from the card packs. And we don't even need difficult cards to claim. I'm, I'm, I keep preaching this. We need we need a two-star cards and one-star cards. And maybe three-star cards as well. But four-star, five-star? Not really, actually. We're doing quite well in that department. Oh, 78 gems. It's one of those good ones. Oh, thank goodness. Like There are specific types of mazes of treasures. And this is one of them. This is the cheaper type. And I love this. Yes, sir. Sign me up, because this could be really, really good for card pack collecting, because you can get them from this. I mean, how uh, how late in your experience is that going to be? At what door? I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to find out right now. All right, so, door number nine. Please don't be a guard. Please. No, why are you here? But whatever, take the gems. I don't care. All right, so, we got one card pack so far, and... I guess it's fine. If we get an actual new card, then it's gonna be fine. But now, this is what I'm talking about. And we got 404 coins. Ouchies! Ouch! Oh, that could have been a gold card pack! We don't really get gold card packs ever, actually. So that could have definitely been something good. Something that we're actually looking for. But fine, it's okay. Now let's move on here. Because this is looking like a decently good run at the end of the day. It's so beautiful! Look at it! Yes! All right, I love to see that. That is beautiful. That is life-changing. That is amazing. Live, laugh, love card packs if they give you actual cards instead of random duplicates. All right, because we keep opening the bronze card packs and wouldn't you know it, a guard appeared. All right, let's just pay up the gems because we don't have many to begin with. Whatever, just, we're just going to spend them right now on the guard. It's fine. So, there you have it. Nice. Very nice. Card packs are amazing when you actually get new cards instead of duplicates. And we can 100% get new cards instead of duplicates. Because let's not lie to ourselves here. Let's not do that. We have all the odds of getting actual new cards, alright? Because there are a lot of 1-star and 2-star cards that we're missing. And we need to get them, alright? And it's not like they're more rare or anything because they're not supposed to be. Alright, take your gems. And I like that they haven't changed the prices either. It's not gonna get more than 371 gems. It's not gonna cost more. So, we're very likely to actually finish this right here. Unless the guard appears like three times or something ridiculous like that. And we just got the- whatever this is! The black card back! And it's the grand prize as well? Like what, do you get the grand prize before the grand prize? Oh, yes! Oh, that's good! Hey, wait a second, that's amazing! And now, let's see what we get. Please be something good. Alright, it's not that good. <laughs> I like that we got the good stuff before the actual stuff that was supposed to be really good, but fine. Like, look at this. This is amazing. All right, let's see what happens when we get the black card pack, because I don't think we've ever gotten one of those. And it's the bronze one. Please don't be a duplicate. And yes, it's something new. Let's go. And now what's this going to be? An event ticket? All right. Dark Knight, leave me alone. We got to do something cool here. And they're both duplicates. Not cool. I don't like to see that. The black card pack. Yes, we got a one star. I think it was supposed to be something better. And the legendary one? Two duplicates. Alright, fine. The legendary one was better than the black one, which makes no sense. But fine. You do what you want. So, was that worth it? Uh, no, not really. But is that good just because I have a grudge to just claim all of the card packs that we could possibly get? Yes. So, uh, in that... In that aspect, it was worth it. So, very, very nice video today. And what's happening here with the buttons? Why are they like that? But I don't really mind. Alright, so what's happening here? Oh, they're both for this. And uh, actually, this chapter, if we get to really complete this chapter, that'd be insane because you get a random special item. And I swear, if this is Happy Treats, I'm going to be so mad. I we're close to getting our very first uh, picture here. But we don't even have one completed. But like, we're not, we're not that far away from our goal. Especially at the end, we're not that far away from our goal. Like, come on, it's not that difficult to get all this. So, fellas, smash like if you enjoyed that, and I'll catch you in the next in, in the next episode. So, bye bye.